Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to make a review on this angle grinder. So enjoy watching, like this video and subscribe to my channel. I also would like you to know that this video is not sponsored. So this is the Bosch Professional GWS 060 angle grinder. This is a small angle grinder. This one is corded. You don't have to worry about running out of battery. It only cost me around 1,100 pesos if I'm not mistaken. And I got it from a local hardware store. Because it is small, it is easy to carry around. And the handle is angled this way to provide a stable support. It also comes with a blade guard. And this is the wrench that allows you to replace your blade. Basically, it supports blade up to 10 centimeter or 4 inch in diameter. And this is some of the blades that I use it with. This is a cutting disc. This is a sander. It's hook and loop. This is the cup brush. And this is the grinder blade. The head is made of aluminum. I think it disperses much of the heat and the body is made of ABS plastic. This is the switch that allows you to turn the unit on and off. You can also lock it in place. To release the button when it's locked, you just need to press this part. This black round button is the lock mechanism for replacing the blade. So if you push it, the blade locks in place. On both sides, you'll find the attachment to where you can connect the handle. If you notice this part of the head, there's an arrow pointing to the right. That is the direction of your blade. Now I'm going to show you how to install the blade guard. Flip it upside down and get your blade guard. If you take a closer look, there is something that overlaps this part. What you do is you align the guard this way. And based on your preference, you can tilt it to any side. To lock the guard in place, all you have to do is to get a screwdriver. You can screw it in place. And you can move this handle to the other side. Next, I'm going to install this cutting disc. To install it, remove the outer nut Place the blade Then screw it back on To lock it in place, you have to press this lock 
and turn the wrench. The direction is counterclockwise. I mean clockwise. No, you can start cutting. Using a cutting disc, I'm going to cut this rebar. It easily cuts the metal into half. Now I'm going to use a scalp brush to remove the top layer of the metal. Now all the rust is gone. This time I'm going to use this grinding blade. And that completely removes all the top layer away. You can see the bare metal. I'm also going to use this wood sander. This is a hook and loop wood sander. And I'm going to test it on the plywood. Imagine how much work can be done by using this angle grinder. What I don't like about it is that considering that it's more than a thousand pesos, it doesn't come with a free blade. I had to buy all these blades individually. And also, it comes in a box, like a carton box not even a hard case i guess that's what you get when you buy an affordable power tool if i were to rate it i'm gonna give it eight out of ten chicks this is very useful there's no question about that the only thing is that like what i already mentioned it doesn't come with a blade and not in a hard case. I suggest that you get one of these. It cuts into metal. You can use it to grind away rusty and rough surface. And there are so many attachments available, like a stand. And there's also an attachment that can turn it into a small chainsaw. So that's my review for today. Please leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe. And thank you for watching.